Nowhere in the world, I would venture, is the message more stark than Australia. We cannot simply sweep injustice aside. We non-Aboriginal Australians should perhaps remind ourselves that Australia once reached out for us. Didn't Australia provide opportunity and care for the dispossessed Irish? Did it not for the poor of Britain, the refugees from war and famine and persecution in the countries of Europe and Asia? If it isn't reasonable to say that if we can build a prosperous and remarkable harmonious multicultural society in Australia, surely we can find just solutions to the problems which beset the first Australians, the people to whom the most injustice has been done. And as I say, the starting point might be to recognise that the problem starts with us, the non-Aboriginal Australians. It begins, I think, with an act of recognition. Recognition that it was we who did the dispossessing. We took the traditional lands and smashed the traditional way of life. We brought the diseases and the alcohol. We committed the murders. We took the children from their mothers. We practiced discrimination and exclusion. It was our ignorance and our prejudice and our failure to imagine that these things could be done to us. With some noble exceptions, we fail to make the most basic human response and enter into their hearts and minds. We fail to ask, how would I feel if this was done to me? And if we have a sense of justice, as well as common sense, we will forge a new partnership. It might help if we non-Aboriginal Australians imagined ourselves dispossessed of land we had lived on for 50,000 years and then imagined ourselves told that it had never been ours. Imagine if ours was the oldest culture in the world and we were told that it was worthless. Imagine if we had resisted this settlement, suffered and died in the defence of our land and then were told in history books that we'd given up without a fight. Imagine if non-Aboriginal Australians had served their country in peace and war and were then ignored in history books. Imagine if our feats on the sporting fields had inspired admiration and patriotism and yet did nothing to diminish prejudice. Imagine if our spiritual life was denied and ridiculed. Imagine if we had suffered the injustice and then we're blamed for it. It seems to me, if we can imagine the injustice, we can imagine the opposite. And we can't have justice. We cannot imagine that the descendants of people whose genius and resilience maintained a culture here through 50,000 years or more will be denied their place in the modern Australian nations. We can't imagine that. We cannot imagine that we'll fail.